Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So welcome to uh, probably the last episode of this new series about sex, gender and our self-perception of reality. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the series uh, and I hope you guys were able to learn throughout these different videos uh, different things regarding what is sex, what is gender, different definitions, what science, uh, what other facts you know about these topics and, uh, and I hope you were able to see that our self-perception cannot always be trusted and we can't give too much importance to how we perceive things, to how we feel and how we think about things while we deny reality, the reality of our biology, of our bodies, or our sex. Uh, there should always be a balance, right, between our self-perception and reality. And when there is a mismatch, we shouldn't adapt and change reality to fit our self-perception, but we should instead fit our perception to reality because reality is what doesn't change. No, reality is not like if you think that reality is different, it becomes different, right? Or uh, if you feel that something is in one way, it's going to actually be in that way as you think. Reality stays the same no matter what you think or how, no matter what you believe about it. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's the idea. So we should always have this balance between self-perception and, uh, and reality. And what's happening is that this ideology with all these is consistencies, logical fallacies, contradictions, and the dangers of it is as actually putting more emphasis and too much emphasis on your self-perception of who you are, right? Rather than uh, trying to find a balance between what you think about you, yourself, right? And then the reality. Uh, and, um, and yeah, so that's what I, I hope I was able to provoke you a little bit. I'm gonna put in the description below all the past videos in case you haven't watched them. And today, in this very last episode, I'm going to talk about this, about identity. This question right here, who am I? Uh, this is a question that every human being goes through, especially as they approach the, uh, the teenage years. Uh, as their bodies are changing, they're trying to figure out who they are, what is their place in the world, um, and uh, what makes them know uh, what their lives to have value. And uh, you know, what is the biblical perspective about this? You see, throughout this series, I always have tried to show you the glimpse, you know, the fact that the Bible actually agrees with science, that the Bible uh, agrees with what the researchers are showing and what the, the data says. Um, and, uh, you know, a very common, uh, one of the most common lies that I find whenever you're talking to anyone, you know, that uh, identifies as part of this LGBT plus community is the fact that Whenever you, you talk to them, for example, that I'm a Christian, you know, I disagree with this ideology, I disagree with some things that you believe, I, the Bible says that you know, homosexuality is a sin, or that if you follow your desires that are against God, you're actually sinning, so it's not something that's going to be good for you. Um, whenever you are uh, rebelling or not following God's instructions, right, you are actually doing something that uh, you think is going to bring you happiness, you think is going to bring you freedom. But in reality, it's making you to become more captive, more bondage, and it's going to bring you uh, sadness and depression. Uh, whenever you're talking about these things, even if you have, you know, you're very gentle, you're very loving, you're trying to convey the truth in a loving way. But many times what I've seen is that these people always react so, so violently, uh, as if they are personally attacked, right? They in name of tolerance, in name of inclusion, in name of free speech, and in name of love, they start being hateful towards Christians, they start being spiteful, they start mocking and uh, uh, insulting God, insulting the Bible, insulting Christianity, insulting Christians, and, uh, and they are uh, no Christ-phobic, they are Bible-phobic, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and it's quite uh, interesting, right, to notice this, that they call themselves to be inclusive, to be loving, to accept you know, everyone. Uh, but then at the same time, whoever disagrees with them is being shut down, is being called names, homophobic, transphobic, is being excluded, is being silenced, um, and is being hated. Uh, so you know, uh, it's just interesting to notice that fact. But then the question is, like, why are they reacting so violently? And the answer, uh, as I've you know, talked to different people and I've done some studies, is that the, the main problem is in their identity because they are linking and they are grounding their identity on their sex, on their gender identity, on their sexual orientation. They are 
their identity is rooted on these things, right? Who, who they are attracted to in their gender identity, in their sex. So if someone comes and say to them, look, your beliefs about this are wrong, or uh, it is wrong to have these attractions or whatever, they are feeling their identity to be attacked because like, they are grounding their identity on these things, right? And uh, this is who they are. They are transgender. They are a man and a woman. They are queer or they are gay, lesbian. Uh, they are these things. So that's their identity. So if someone comes and say to them, look, you're wrong, or the Bible says that you're wrong, then they react so violently because they feel attacked personally. They feel attacked. They feel their identity being attacked. And, uh, and this is the main problem, right? But then what the Bible has to say about this? The Bible has a message of hope. So I want you guys that is watching this video, remember, it's never too late to... Uh, to repent is never today. Don't think that God is hating you. Don't think that God is, uh, is ready to punish you or is oppressing you or doesn't really want you to live the life that you want. God wants the best for you. And remember that the Bible has God's instructions and the best way in which we can live our lives. But then we have the freedom. We can decide, we can choose to live our lives how as God commands or we can choose to live our lives as we want following our own desires and but the bible is very clear that a life fo following our own desires even though it seems to bring happiness it seems to be more free in reality it brings harm it brings uh sadness it doesn't bring satisfaction and you are conf it brings just confusion about who you are right and uh and the, that's the idea so like god instructions in the Bible are not really for us to is to limit our freedom God is not doesn't want us to not do things that are are good right but instead God is uh, um, showing us look this is the best way in which you can live your life this is the best way in which you can find fulfillment in your life you can find satisfaction in your life this is who you are like God says through the Bible, we're going to look at some verses. God is saying, look, this is who you are. Now, if you don't want to believe it, that's on you. But I've already, I've already um, explained and already revealed what I think about you. What is that makes you to have value? What makes you, what your identity should be grounded on? And, uh, and this is the freedom that we find in Christ. The freedom that we find in God. And you see, every time that we base our identity on things like sex, gender, sexual orientation, uh, or what our family say, what our friends say, what we think, right? We are just uh, going through a path that's going to lead us into uh, destruction, into not finding fulfillment and finding that purpose for us, for our lives. And so what the Bible has to say about identity, right? The question here, who am I? What the Bible says. Well, we have looked already at some verses. We have seen in Genesis 1 27 that uh, reads, So God created man his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. So every human being is created in the image of God. And that's our identity. Our identity is that we're created in the image of God. That's why human beings are, uh, have value, they are worth. They have infinite value. That's why human life is so precious because every single human being, even the unborn one yet, is rooted in this concept that they're created in the image of God. And, uh, and this is so, so wonderful, right? Who would uh, not want to believe that they are created in the image of God, right? That they, that's why they have value. That's why they have worth. Uh, and uh, that's what the Bible teaches. And not only that, but the Bible also teaches that uh, the what are the different roles, right? So man, woman, father, mother, husband, wife, male, female, right? Uh, the different roles in society, in families, and that's how societies uh, are to are to progress. Jesus himself in in uh, Matthew chapter nineteen. Um, takes and uh, um, reaffirms these verses. Again, the fact that God created 
uh, human beings in this image and made them male and female. And the fact that you know, uh, the, Jesus affirms the family role. So Jesus here is affirming the Old Testament. So once again, it's not something that we find in the Old Testament, but also something that we find in the New Testament. But not only that, look at this. I've tried to search here um, different verses that talk about identity, right? And we have already read Genesis 1, 27. But look here, 2 Corinthians um, 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. That is our identity. When we are in Christ, so when we trust in him, when we believe in him, right? We are a new creation. That is our identity. Our identity is not based on our sex or uh, on our gender identity or on our sexual orientation or on any other thing. Our identity is actually rooted in the fact that we are a new creation in Christ Jesus. And we are created in the image of God. And then when we trust in Jesus, right? When we are in Christ, we become, we are a new creation. And look at this. We also are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession. Wow. Then he says here that it's no longer uh, I who live, but it's Christ who lives in me. So we, we become part and it's like Christ is living through us. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God. So that's the, that's the identity right? What we have in Christ. Then look at this. We are his workmanship. And then here it says, uh, we are not any more servants, right? But we are now friends, friends of Jesus, you know, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. As Romans say, I don't know if it's here, if it's uh, um, the verse on Romans here, uh, 8, but, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's another verse, right? And, uh, and look at this, look at how many more verses there are that speak about our identity, what we are who we are in Christ, in Jesus. So what God intended us to be. And, uh, and see how beautiful this is. See how um, this really, I think it makes us to become hopeful, right? And uh, don't worry. The, my message here for this last part of the video is don't worry. Even if you feel, um, even if you feel that uh, you, you don't know who you are, you, you're grounded, your identity on things like your attractions, things like your sex or your gender. Uh, my, uh, my encouragement for you today is stop um, basing who you are on these frivolous things, on these things that one day, you know, they are here, another day they might be different and you might perceive yourself to be different and uh, you can't put too much importance how you perceive yourself. Rather, be rooted in the truth of the Word of God. Be rooted in what God says about you. In what is your identity in Jesus. And this is going to bring you freedom. This is going to bring you purpose. And uh, living out, uh, following God's instructions, is going to be the best way in which you can live your life, in which you're going to find true purpose, true fulfillment, and, uh, um, and your identity is going to be rooted on solid ground is not going to be shaken and uh and this is the the reality of what the bible teaches so that's it this is going to be it for this series so once again i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching god bless you see ya bye bye